the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. What up everybody, Charles Macro here today back again, jumping back into Planet Zoo. Alright guys, you see here, these are our new employees and in the last one we hired them uh, at the end after we built our new first pin. That's our pin, that's going to be our main attraction starting out. We keeping it simple as we said, we starting a successful zoo, we are going to earn money, stack up money and then we go, you know. Uh, start really building out and putting all the animals in we want if you start building too fast it usually doesn't go well um i learned that the hard way because <laughs> i was like a hundred thousand in debt on my first part so these are the donation boxes if you're not familiar with them already the as a zoo you get money from entrance you get money from people uh eating and buying merch but then you have these donation boxes it's kind of like a non-profit way to get income so this is actually where you're going to get most of your income from uh that maybe like selling animals or something but i got to learn more about that we're growing and learning that part of it so it's basically ten dollars is no maintenance you can put them everywhere so put them all over um, you mainly supposed to put them by your viewing areas but you can put them everywhere anywhere people are walking you hoping they donate it now what we're doing now we make it a viewing area so this is going to be like one of the main viewing views so you got to open up a part of the barrier the the gate the fence that you um have around your animal habitat so again we just open this spot up this is where we are assuming people are going to come view and now we want to help the people get their education on so under facilities if you go to the signs no, it's viewing devices and like education of that one. And we're going to get habit education stand. Now, this is another habit education stand. This is the $40 one. It's a $10 one, two over to the left. I used that one at first. Those don't work at all. <laughs> I don't know how to make those work. These, the $40 ones are like a digital sign. So once we place it, I'm trying to place it a little out of the way. I, I feel like if I put it too in their view, it's in the way. Um, and they won't be able to see. But well, that probably doesn't even matter on the game. It probably doesn't even take that into account. All right, but so now you can pick the animals you want. Well, I gotta wait a second. They're delivering the animals right now. So they finna drop off our first wild dog. Look at them, they dropping it off way down there in the distance. Now when we click on it, you can choose African wild dog, bam, bam. And basically whatever pin you have the sign by, those will be the animals that are available. Well, either that or just whatever animals you have in your park. Maybe it's just whatever animals you have in your park uh, that'll be available. Look at the wild dog running over there. Look at the wild dog running over there. I want to put it right here. Mm, for now. I may open up another area for viewing now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, so the people can see down on all ends but we'll, we'll uh, I'm debating we'll do that in a second look at the wild dogs though look at the dingoes look at the dingoes <laughs> ain't that what a wild dog is a dingo at least in Australia look at that that's dope okay uh okay so now we're looking at their needs basically similar to like the sims or a game where you know you have your social needs okay hard shelter terrain the first thing you usually want to do is just get the terrain right the animal needs more short grass. Uh, it's too much high grass out there. They're used to being on the plains of the Serengeti. Uh, they see the soil, the grass. I don't know that for sure, but it sound good, don't it? So this way you can paint it. So I'm choosing a uh, soil first. So you see we kind of flattening out this soil. And let's see, grass long, grass short. Let's give it some more grass short. Sometimes it's hard for me to read that graph, but that little indicator, the little white line is where you're at. And the big white line or section is the area, the sweet spot that you want to get the white straight line to. You get it after you play for a while and you see. Um, some adding more rock. And we basically, we basically met the requirements that make the wild dogs happy so that's what you want to do all you got to do is get them up now we're not going to have access to everything because you got to do research um, but we're going to do just enough that we start making money from the people viewing and then we'll research the things that help their lifestyle their food and their uh the play basically it's a it's a term they use but uh we'll get to that in a second all right let's see we staff good 
Uh, blah, blah, blah. What do we want to go to? Construction. So this hard shelter, we can either build a shelter or we can use a prefab. Um, do I want to use a prefab? Fab five is like whatever potato, to, tomato, tomato, whatever you do. I'm gonna try to build this first one myself uh, using these these sticks, <laughs> sticks, uh, these like wooden beams. We're gonna try to build our own, and that's uh, ultimately what I want to end up doing. With everything custom built, every structure, every building, you know, every habitat or shelter. Uh, for the animals you want to custom do it, but they do have the prefabs as I say Okay, so I've been sitting there trying to act like you know, I, I know what I'm doing like I'm a master builder or something So I was using the planks. I laid it over. I've been duplicating them. You see that you see that and I don't really know what this is turning into now uh, How is this gonna cover? Them? I really don't feel like trying to build a whole thing It's gonna take a while and for this we're just really trying to get rolling so I'm thinking about maybe doing a prefab now or either uh, just building something a little more simple. But I was going to do this like a wood and log cabin. Just do it plank by plank by plank. But uh, the more I think about it, the more we may go in a more simplistic direction. At least starting out. And then we'll come do these more complicated buildings, complicated structures later. Yeah, I think that's how I'm feeling. I think that's how I'm feeling. Yeah, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go with this wooden plank wall here, this four milli. I'll move this stuff out of the way in a second, or maybe they'll just be like like them little wood beams will be like uh, you know, little accoutrements to this. But we're gonna make this a little simple. So man, that's in the way I kinda wanna put that right there. Let's move this over a hair. Uh what is Man, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? Hold on, I'm working this out. Y'all give me a second, I'm working this out, man. I'm still getting my building touched down, man. Okay, let's lay this down here. And, okay. We're gonna move this one in the middle. And I actually wanna turn this around. I wanna turn this around. Turn around. Every now and then I get a little bit, little bit, little bit, turn around. Okay, so let's try these slopes. Hold on, that ain't the same thing. That ain't the same thing. I need the same wooden slope. That look kind of kind of bricked out. Where the wooden joints at? There we go. Here's the wooden planks. Okay. And here. Bam. Okay. Mmm. Uh, Let's see. We're going to close this, and I'm going to leave this one open right here, actually, now that I think about it. That's a gate. I need to put a wall there. And you know what? You know what? So I removed some of what I had, and all that fence really wasn't working. So we're going to go ahead and roof this in, and maybe the roof will help me to visualize a little better. Okay. Cause I was trying to find the, the way, the best way to get this closed with this slant, but I wasn't really finding anything that was working with the slant. So again, I, w I didn't want it to be just a boxy shape, you know, a boxy square, you know what I mean? But I think that's what it's gonna have to be starting now. It's just gonna have to be the, the ugly boxy build and we'll get a little more complex. We'll get a little more aesthetically diverse as we build more but yeah this one's just gonna be boxy let's just accept it it's gonna be boxy all right blam they should be happy i mean they're just wild dang guys okay all right cool cool look at that look at that boxy square look at that boxy square is it any way that we can no all right so they have a shelter so they should be a little happier now that they have a shelter uh, and again, we may dress it up a little bit. Maybe I'll put a little chimney looking thing on here just to, just to give it some, some little difference to the look, you know? Okay, uh, is there anything else we wanna throw on here just for good measure? Oh, he about to bring in um, another, some more dingoes. Some more wild dogs. Uh, trying to see what, I, what else I wanna put on here, if anything. 
I think we good for now. I think we good for now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and get back rolling so we can see if this habitat has affected the status of the wild dogs. So let's see. Uh, habitat, cleanliness, hard shelter. Okay, so it's still red. Okay, we got to hit play. Look at that. Once we hit play, 100%. So the wild dogs love their new home, baby. They loving their new shelter. Yeah. We ain't got to get all fancy schmancy. They loving it. Okay, they thirsty. Uh, they thirsty already? Okay, we got to get down like the food and drink, drink. Yo, that thing look like wasn't nothing there for a second. <laughs> it was about some... <laughs> it was about to be some, uh... Some visitors getting attacked. All right, so we're going to put a water dish... And well, that's a food dish, and then I'm gonna put this water trough so they can eat and drink. Hopefully, that will stop their thirst and their hunger. That looks like it will ensue as well. All right, cool. Got that down. Got that down. Look at that. We growing, y'all. We growing. Uh, medium food trough. Hopefully, these are the correct ones. Uh, okay. Okay, so yeah, I'm calling the keeper. You click on the food trough or the water dish, and um, we call him the keeper so that he comes and fills it up so that they can eat. I'm gonna put this water type, uh, water pipe. Sometimes I'd be concerned that they're not gonna go drink from the water or it's the wrong one, but they always seem to drink from this water pipe. So yeah, we'll roll with that. We'll roll with that. Okay, okay, so what I was thinking, I'm going to edit this barrier. I'm going to give the people another spot to look uh, because that one on the other end may be too far away and we still want them to be able to see them going in and out of their habitat and uh, doing a few things on this side too. I'm also putting some of these donation boxes right here. We're going to put three of them right here. They can't miss the donation boxes. And let's see if we'll do something similar right here. Uh, bam and bam right here by the educational board put a couple right here yeah we putting these things everywhere that's how we get our money that's how we get our money okay blam 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 and we'll continue doing it uh, pretty much all the way around. I'm just like staggering them a little bit from one side to the other. And got those there. Yeah, you can't use or you can't place enough of these donation boxes. Again, they cost nothing for upkeep. They're only ten dollars, and you need them for the for the visitors to be donating. Okay. All right, look at that. We got people up in here already. 33, oh, 66 folks. Let's go on and put some right here because they might want to donate on the way in. They might be like, oh, you know what? This was very cost friendly and they got some good animals. Let's go on and donate at the gate. <laughs> donate at the gate. Donate at the gate. Okay, so we have uh, the visitors. Now they're walking around, they're roaming. I don't know why those people are turning going up that way <laughs> unless they're going to sit down at the uh, park bench which would be good pretty cool to look at all right let's check out our wild dogs um they need food enrichment and toy enrichment that's what it is enrichment you got to research the enrichment options for your different animals so if you haven't researched you're not going to be able to do anything with that with the exception of the certain species that can live in the same habitat. There are certain species that are in this game that can live in the same habitat. And they get an enrichment boost off that. But the food and the toy, you got the research. And that still doesn't take that long either. Longer than you would think. All right, so they need grassland plant life, grassland nature. So um, we'll go ahead and filter that out. And since they African wild dogs, we gonna <laughs> look at them fighting. Look at them fighting. We're gonna filter Africa. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's crazy. They going at it. 
They going at it. Get them. Get them. Okay, so we're gonna put a tree, and once you place it, it's one of these we can click on with their uh, tabs that the animal will let you know if they like it or not. Because if it's foreign to the habitat, they really, really uh, don't care for it as much as if it is indigenous to the region or to the locale that you're planting it. I mean, that's how wild those are, you know? They know about their, the indigenousness of their plant life. <laughs> All right, let's plant some trees. Put one right here by the dut. And let's see, let's see. Blam. I think they all still get credit with going um, to the habitat and to the animals. Okay, the zoo family ticket prices are great. There's not a lot to do here, I described. Okay, so when the zoo tickets are great, that means you can go up at least a dollar. Uh, usually two if they're great you can go up at least two if it's just good you can go up at least one and it'll go to fair sometimes it's two of each but you know i wouldn't go up but so much and just keep looking back and seeing what the families and the groups with children in it are saying about your ticket prices and you know if you need to raise them or you need to lower them oh and one of my wolves is injured one of my wild dogs my dang guys one of them injured but uh, I sent the vet to them. You got to click on them and send that vet because they may not automatically do it. Oh, okay. I'm profiting 70 right now. So we are in the green. We are profiting. And to make sure we maximize our profits, I click on them again. You got the adult groups. They saying the standard ticket price is fair. Fair is what you want. For the family, it's good. So that means I can go up one more dollar. So it's looking like right now the even for standard or family is about the same uh, that you want to put your cost on um so much to walk around how do i get to the african wild dogs okay the zoo ticket price was great but they was already in here so you look at people as soon as they come in so they're saying they're fair they're saying the family price is fair oh 277 oh we profited 277 i'm gonna say that's a month no maybe that's a day we profiting 277 a day right now and it, it still fluctuates up and down as people buy things as people leave as people come in but yeah we doing it our park is becoming successful. Look at all these people in here. Look at all these people in here. Let's see, we are the 155. As I said, you really want to start simple. You really want to start simple and then get your people coming in. Get each habitat up and running well. Look, the standard ticket price is great. The zoo is great. That African wild dogs look bored. Well, right now we still got to do some research and we ain't got enough people, you know, enough staff to do the research like that. Okay, we dropping off another one. Oh, I think he's bringing back the one that was injured, the wild dog. The zoo standard ticket price is great. Now, where are the African wild dogs? Hmm. I mean, you can't see them. You need to go to the to the spot or go to information. Do I have an information desk? I might not even have an information desk yet because I minimized uh, what all I was going to put in here. So I'm thinking that since they can't see, I'm going uh, to make another opening. Either make it glass or another one of these little chain link openings. Hold on. Let's see what these people are doing. Come on now. It's open right there. That's giving you another view, another vantage point of the wild dogs. You got the one on the far end, and then you got the one right here where you can just see them kind of roaming in the wild. <laughs> Look at the people jumping. Yeah, you've seen bigger and better zoos. We still growing. See our little zoo at our one exhibit? <laughs> we doing it okay so they're saying the ticket prices are great see look they're watching that's why I got the feeding station over here um, so they can see they got the education right there keep them donating no you got to keep donating now don't play we profit in 179 right now 223 uh oh 283 it's fluctuating but we hovering around 250 250 an hour or 250 a day per se so yeah we're making income that's good that is good like we can sit here and just kind of let it continue to uh grow with this state and just you know keep building our income okay okay he just brought back or either brought in another one i know i've had a few that were supposed to be uh, coming in let's see let's look at the wild dog and see look hard shell the terrain 100 plants coverage 100 uh, in the green everything is in the green social 100 
That's what's up. Let's see. Physical stats. Lifetime stats. Okay, no offspring. No escapes. Okay. Okay, okay. Appeal 1532, which is good. The Wild Dogs have a good appeal that will draw in uh, customers early. You try to get the ones that are at least over 1,000. The Wild Dogs are 1,500. And their breeding cycles aren't long. Their breeding cycles are very short. So they're good animals to have. Okay, I'm seeing what I have here in my animal trading. See if I want to buy me another. Now I'm going to cash. And I said you can use your conservation credits initially, but go with cash. And just buy cash animals. Save your conservation credits. That's what I recommend until you start profiting. Until you're about where I'm at now. Or you save up a little more money, like get it up to 50000 or so. Then you may want to use your conservation credits. Because after a day or two, you'll have earned 100 each day anyway. Okay. New animal ride to the zoo. Okay, I actually just added him. And but these dogs don't their their lifespan isn't super long. Like as you play, they'll die off. So it's good to keep some extra animals in your trading center for when they begin to uh, die off. Uh, you gotta keep recycling your and renewing your animals because they'll only be able to breed but so much. Okay, but yeah, they're looking happy. They're looking happy. Yo, we are growing. We one star right now. That's okay. It's enough that they got us a couple hundred people in here. They spending money. And um Okay. I think we I think okay, I think we're in a good place, guys. I think we're in a good place this stage too. So we don't run too long what we'll do. And the next one we'll come back and um we'll begin to do a little more customization because as I'm looking I can see that the scenery is needed to be upgraded on these buildings, which means I need to build around them so that the people like them more, and then that means they'll earn more money. So we'll do that in the next one. I'm gonna kinda start dabbling now, but in the next video, come back, we'll build and construct a building around uh, these shops, all right? Charles Macro, Planet Zoo, thank you for stopping through, and I'ma holla at you. Yo, we starting a successful zoo, y'all. So, hey, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share this so others can check this out, man. Let me know in the comment box how your experience is going and if this is helping you and working for you, all right? Charles Macro, Planet Zoo. Thank you for stopping through, and I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game.